I was sitting back thinking to myself, man, I'm like, yo, what do I really want in a quarterback? Like, what is it that I'm looking for? And maybe you can relate to this too, man, you know, but I'm sitting here and I'm like, dang, bro, like, what is it? I just can't really put my finger on it. Like, I have a vision. Obviously, you a vision like the Patrick Mahomes and stuff like that. But it's like, what's realistic? Like, what is the vision for me as far as what quarterback I want to see in a purple jersey playing for the Minnesota Vikings that we can have for multiple years and that could be productive for multiple years? But when I mean productive, I mean actually making plays that puts us in the running to win a Super Bowl. I don't mean just productive as he has three to 4,000 yards per season. He has a really good pass percentage, but yet we still only win eight, nine games and we're barely making it into the playoffs. Like I want that guy that makes the difference, right? And I came up with something. And this might not make sense to some of y'all, and that's okay, because I'm going to explain a little bit, man. But I said, man, I was, matter of fact, I was live last night, and I said, dang, man, I just want a quarterback with a superstar factor, all right? Like, that's what I want. He has to has the he has to have the superstar factor. That's period. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, if you think of some of the quarterbacks, you think of the Patrick Mahomes, you think of the Lamar Jacksons, the Joe Burrows, you know, the Justin Herberts. Those guys have superstar factors. They can go out there and make plays that other quarterbacks, the average quarterback, cannot make. Even the good quarterbacks cannot make. I They make plays that good quarterbacks can't make. So some people might say, well, I just want an elite quarterback. Okay, same thing. I just want a quarterback with a superstar factor. That's it. And when I'm talking about these young quarterbacks that are coming into the draft, I need to see that factor there. All right? And I'm going to tell you. The one on the thumbnail that y'all seeing that a lot of people might not agree with, but I believe Joe Milton has a superstar factor in him. He has that gene right there somewhere. Uh, just because of the way he can throw the rock and stuff, his size, his build, I think he has a superstar factor. Like He's like Anthony Richardson, doesn't have the great numbers, but I'm going to tell you, the scouts and everybody knew after the combine and that, that Anthony Richardson had the superstar factor. They knew. That's why he got drafted as high as he did without the numbers, right? It, the, the numbers didn't matter. And they shouldn't have because you could just see it, right? Same thing I feel like with J.J. McCarthy. I feel like J.J. McCarthy has that superstar factor. It might take him a year or two to really, you know, show the world that he is that guy because he is so young and immature. I mean, the kid's only 21, so we got to incorporate that. It reminds me of the Sam Darnold thing where, you know, super young, got thrown out there too early, didn't pan out for him and then he became a journeyman pretty much like that's something that could happen to JJ if he doesn't get put in the right situation being young and somebody says hey we're gonna start you right away like that might do him some disservice and you know that that's a possibility but I still believe he has the superstar factor I'm loving that man I'm loving that man hey look that's what I'm saying for the rest of the time is superstar factor all right and I'm gonna tell you we know Caleb Williams superstar factor all right, Caleb Williams, he makes throws that no other quarterback in this class makes. He does. He makes plays that no other quarterback in this class can make. We just going to keep it honest. He has the biggest superstar factor. All right, because, you know, like if he pans out, he's going to be a superstar. He's not just going to be the quarterback of your team. He's going to be the guy most likely on the team, the guy that everybody talks about, the jerseys that sell the most, so on and so forth. Right. And I just look at it like this, man. Our quarterback now doesn't have it, okay? And it's obvious. Why is that? Well, because every offseason since 2019, we've been talking about moving off. Should we extend him? Should we trade him? Is, should we draft the guy? When you have a quarterback that has the superstar factor, you don't have those conversations as a fan base. That's period, okay? That's how you figure out if you really have a quarterback that has the superstar factor. We can really be honest with ourselves as Vikings fans, and some people might feel different and say, no, Kirk is a superstar quarterback. That's cool. You can feel like that, but he doesn't have it okay i'm gonna just keep it real like he's good he's a good quarterback nobody's ever taken that away from him he's a good quarterback but he's not a superstar my goal as a vikings fan what i want to see in my lifetime is to get a superstar quarterback that can play for our team for 10 plus years you know like i mean my standards are high man you know i i and we we had these conversations a couple days ago where we should bring in a Baker Mayfield and a Gardner Minshew and stuff like it's like to me, why waste your time bringing in guys that, you know, don't have that superstar factor and they're not going to get you to a Super Bowl? Like, why do it? You know what I mean? Like the standard should be 
get to the Super Bowl, keep trying to hit until you get your superstar quarterback. Because if you have anybody on your team that's going to be considered a superstar, you want it to be the guy on the center. Like, that's a fact. That should be your main priority as a GM, as a coach. Like, we brought Kevin O'Connell in here because he was supposed to be the offensive wizard. He was supposed to be the quarterback whisperer, right? So why keep rolling on with number eight when as a fan base, we want to see if you really could build this franchise and give us that guy that we've all been wanting for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you right now, again, Jaden Daniels, superstar factor. That's why I won the Heisman. He's electric. He has it. Like he's the type of guy you put him on the field. He's going to make plays that are going to wow you. And you're going to be like, damn, that kid is actually it. It's different than having just a guy that drops back, can throw the ball. Mac Jones, for example, you know, just a quarterback. Yes, he got drafted super high, but he never had the superstar factor ever. He's missed. He's never had his whole life. You got to be born with this thing I'm talking about. All right. This is a new thing we're going to be passing around, man. And we're going to be looking for this superstar factor, not only in quarterbacks, we're going to be looking for it in running backs, wide receivers, defensive line, offensive line, linebackers. We're looking for it all over. I knew Ivan Pace had the superstar factor in him. You hear me? Like, it's just, it's there, man. I, I can sense it. I'm the superstar factor whisperer, man. I'm going to tell you right now, man, don't sleep on Joe Milton, man. But I got Caleb Williams, Joe Milton, J.J. McCarthy, Jaden Daniels. Those are the four quarterbacks in this draft that have the superstar factor. Let me know how you feel down in the comments. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses. We winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.